In this lesson, I'd like to talk about capacitors. Now, capacitors are among the most widely used and useful electrical components. Almost any piece of electrical equipment will have capacitors inside it. Smartphones, TVs, radios, uh, battery packs, uh, almost everything has a capacitor, often several capacitors in them. What is a capacitor? Well, basically, it's two conducting sheets separated by an insulating layer, which might be an air gap, or it could be um, a layer of plastic, or something like that. That's all there is to them. You have a wire connected to one plate, another wire connected to the other one. What happens? Well, basically, it's a gap in the circuit. Normally, if you have a gap in the circuit, it means no current can flow. But here, a bit of a current can flow because of the big plates. If you try and squish a current down here by applying a voltage, it will push positive charges out into one of the plates. Because there are positive charges here, that will attract negative charges on the other plate. As the negative charges have been attracted here, that means the net positive charge has flown away. And so you can get a current through this gap for a little while, until both the metal plates are full to the brim with charge, at which point it stops. In practice, usually these two plates are wrapped around each other to give yourself more contact area. So in something like this, these are all capacitors, and what we'll have inside here is the two plates wrapped around each other. Sometimes you get them in flat locations, sometimes the plates can be seen and will slide in and out to vary the amount of capacitance in them. This is what they look like in practice. Now when you build up a positive charge on one side, and hence get a negative charge on the other side, you're going to get an electric field going from the positive charge to the negative charge. Whenever you have an electric field times a distance, that means there's going to be a voltage here. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a potential difference of voltage from this plate to that plate. And this is used to define the capacitance, C, is equal to the amount of charge that builds up on one of the plates, the positive plate, divided by the voltage you need to apply to get that much charge. So it's a measure of how much charge you get per volt. It's measured in farads. One farad is one coulomb of charge for one volt, but typical values are very small in microfarads.